Hey, welcome back to the eDrum Workshop. I'm Luke and I hope you're having a great day. There's been some updates released for the Pearl Mimic Pro module. They came out on Wednesday, which was the 17th of June, and they come in the form of a library update and a firmware update to software version 1.1.0. So I'm going to dive into exactly what's changed, show you around some of the new sounds and sprinkle in my thoughts on the update along the way. Let's get to it. So I did a Mimic Pro wishlist video a bit ago and if you haven't seen that go check it out after this because what's great about this update is it's actually addressed the first thing that I had on my list. Sound expansions. Not that any of that was my doing obviously but it's nice to see and I personally think that this update is great overall. The new instrument library adds a new tom set five new DW toms, and they've also added symbol bow tip articulations for all of the symbols. The fact that we're still getting updates to the software and new instruments added completely for free this far into the module's lifespan is awesome, and it's a great show of support from all those involved. Up until the Mimic and the Strike, regular feature updates weren't really on the radar at all, and many of us would probably even welcome paying for new instruments like with ATV, but it's great that we've been given yet another tom set and I really like these new toms. I'm sure many of the Mimic users out there will have already done this update by now and tried it out, but some of you might not have, so I've linked to the update in the description. There's a new installation method where you install a program that handles the download and the extraction. I'm not going to go into that here as there's an installation video that explains the process up on YouTube and I'll link to both the Windows and Mac versions of that in the description too. I'll showcase these awesome new toms first. I think that they're really nice and melodic and it's great that it's a fully fledged 5 tom set with 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16 inch toms. This is the third 8 inch tom available for the module and one of the other two is a brush tom sample so it's nice to have another option, especially with four other toms from the same set to go alongside it. For this quick demo I only had four toms set up so I've done a demo of 8 to 14 inch and another demo of 10 to 16 inch. I've not changed any of the stock tunings but there is a little bit of compression on the toms. There's no EQ on them and the rest of the kit is a custom one that I've made myself. And I'll let you know how you can get hold of this preset at the end of the video if you like it. As I said, I'm a huge fan of these toms, they make a really welcome addition to the module and I personally really like the tuning range on them. You can obviously tune them up further and add a bit of EQ to compensate if you wanted to push them further. The next major change for playability is the addition of cymbal bow tip articulations. This has been highly requested by many people, myself included, and I'm so happy that they finally made it in. The cymbals already sound amazing on this module and if we never got these articulations I wouldn't have been unhappy with it, but this adds so many more expressive possibilities abilities so getting them added in for free this far beyond release is brilliant. I couldn't go through all of them as this video would have taken me ages to do if I tried. So this demo is just using the symbols that I had set up on this preset but you can really tell the difference on the before and after.
quite a big difference, I'm sure you'll agree. And this is on every symbol in the module, so that's awesome. And then the final major change of the library update is the completely remixed stock presets that have been mixed by top engineers. This preset update makes a huge difference to the stock kits. So I've got a before and after comparison coming up in a minute, but I'll just run through the changes that have been made as part of the 1.1.0 software update first. So first off, they've added new presets for all the ATV symbols. There's presets for the ATV ADC 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 and 18, along with the ATV ADH 14 hi-hats. I've only got an ATV ride myself and I haven't had a chance to fully test the preset out. I've actually had my Mimic set up via MIDI for my TD50 at the moment for kit building, but I've heard great things from other people who've used the presets, especially the new ATV hi-hat preset. And there's also been an update to the hi-hat engine overall, which fixes a previous issue of getting random bow notes after a foot check. Other bug fix Fixes include fixing a distortion that sometimes used to occur on low toms with the compression activated, an issue involving the hi-hat presets being entered on the wrong trigger input, disabling the screensaver when installing the instrument library update, and some stability tweaks. All of these are great little fixes that will help with a variety of small issues that were never deal breakers but maybe were a bit annoying. And a quick note for those of you who have purchased custom kits or you have a lot of your own presets, none of these will be affected by this update. It's just fixed fixing bugs, updating some features, and the library update just adds instruments and changes the stock presets. You won't run into any issues with kits from my or anyone else's stores becoming incompatible or anything like that. So finally I'm going to play you out with some before and after comparisons of the stock kits. Some of the changes are quite subtle, they just sound a bit more lively, but some are massively different. Some of the more stylized kits like the metal kit and the gigantic kit have been updated really heavily and are in my opinion so much bigger and better. I genuinely believe that if the Mimic had shipped with these presets, then the people who think that the Mimic sounds are a bit samey would have a much harder time justifying that viewpoint. They really demonstrate how different you can make the same instrument sound with a bit of production. But on the other hand, this totally didn't have to be done at all. So hats off to all of those involved in this update. Again, I wasn't able to record them all, the 65 presets after all. So this is a selection of a few that I liked. Let me know what you think of these changes down in the comments, and if you pop over to my store at theedrumworkshop.com, you'll find the free downloads page that will have the kit preset files up that I've used in this video. It's actually based on a tweaked preset from my Heavy Hitters collection, so if you like this preset you might enjoy those kits too. There's also my old Snares Off preset on there too from another video. So thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you want more stuff like this, and enjoy the comparisons. Cheers!